a, a lady that's a very, very dear friend of mine uh, will serve as our featured speaker today, um, Lucy Ann Cow, Cow, Cow's Call. Lucy Ann was a cheerleader at Marshall from 1968 to 1970. She graduated in 1971. Not sure many of you know that Lucy Ann was the daughter of athletic director Charlie Couts. Charlie Couts was one of the 75 people that was killed in the plane crash on November 14, 1970, flying back from a game at East Carolina University. Lucy Ann has continued to support the program, has continued to enjoy and be a part of the success of Marshall football since that very tragic night. Uh, I can call her a dear friend. Uh, she's been a, a teacher in the Cabell County school system uh, for a long time, and she actually, not many people know, know this, was a, was a tennis coach at Barbersville High School. She's very active in what we are trying to do here to continue to build this program. And, and you talk about a, a very special lady who lost something, someone very, very important to her. And I can tell you there's no one more happier with the success and the rebirth of Marshall University football than our featured speaker. Lucy Ann Cow's call. Lucy Ann. For a start, we need to uh, give a big hand to the cheerleaders. They just finished a tournament in uh, Florida and they came in third place. Let's give them a the 19, 2012 football team. Let's give them a big hand. I want to dedicate my speech today to all the surviving families, the 75 surviving families. All right, let's get started. It's game day. Are you ready for 2012 football season? Good morning. Dr. Cobb? Uh, see, Tyler, where'd you move on? He took off on me. Tyler, where are you? <laughs> Hello, Tyler out there. Mike, thank you so much for everything that you do. Thank you. Um, Coach Legal, thank you for everything that you've done for me in my life. Chris, thank you for what you've done for the university. All alumni, this weekend means a lot to us. Students, committee members, our Marshall community, thank you. You are my family. You've kept us going all these, from that moment. To get us moving forward on this year's journey, let me start by giving you a thought from Phyllis Diller, the comedian of the 70s. She once asked, do you know the reason why women don't play football? It's because 11 of them would never wear the same outfit in public. <laughs> Now that I have your attention, let's talk about football. Turning on the fountain today symbolizes the 75 lives that will live in our hearts forever. Each time we walk by it, we remember and reflect what their lives stand for. You are a part of it too. Be a winner every day of your life. I want to inspire you to create a legacy for yourself with three basic qualities. Be passionate. Be committed. Be an encourager to others. We are so grateful to have the former athletes who return each year to give back to our community and our university. They are reflect the spirit of what this university is about. I stand before you as a former cheerleader, a 1971 graduate, the daughter of the former athletic director, Charles E. Couts. My dad was always an inspiration to me, and he had passion 
and commitment. He always found encouraging athletes and students to strive for perfection in whatever their endeavors. He had an unmatched love for Marsh University. I thoroughly enjoyed my college life. My dad was always there when I needed him. Cheering was a big part of my life in my college experience as I pursued my elementary education. I later spent most of my career teaching students in Cabell County. During those college years, I was a member of Sigma 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 Sorority, and I worked at the ticket office in Gollickson Hall. During my senior year, I completed my student teaching at Barbersville Elementary. My mentor was Mrs. Per Pearson, who inspired me with the desire to unleash a child's creativity. My teaching years and volunteering served as a preparation for me to make a difference. Every child needs a mentor, a person they can look up to. I left teaching briefly to become a flight attendant in the early years of 2000. My favorite day at work was when I was making my announcements and the lady in the back of the plane was waving her hands like she was having a heart attack. Well, I stopped my speech and I checked it back to check on her. She wanted to know if my name was Lucy Ann Kautz. I said yes, and she proceeded to tell me she was Mrs. Mayfield, my fourth grade teacher. <laughs> I met so many wonderful people being a flight attendant. Some people later became my good friends. In 2006, I was diagnosed with colon cancer. The We Are Marshall movie was getting ready to be released, and I had worked on the committee to bring the families back to Huntington. My friends and family recommended that I have my surgery before the premiere. I attended the premiere and had such an emotional and rewarding experience. We are so thankful for everyone who took part in that event. No words can describe it. My youngest son, Jared, MU class of 2003, had the role, a small role in the film. It is my favorite scene. It was at the cemetery where my dad is buried. Several of the football players were laid to rest there also. This was the scene, the pep talk by Coach Lingle that started the football team on its path to becoming the young thundering herd. Every time I meet a football player or an athlete from that era, they remind me of the difference my father made in their lives. I am so blessed today to have four children and seven grandchildren. Marshall made a difference in my life, and now I have the opportunity to give back to it. I challenge each and every one of you today to set yourself on a course to become significant in the lives of others. As we turn this fountain on today, let our light shine for Marshall University. No matter where we go, we are ambassadors of this great institution. Show your truth crawlers, Kelly Green and White. How do you wish to be remembered? As the movie states, when you take that field today, you've got to lay your heart on the line from the soles of your feet with every ounce of blood in your body from this moment on. How you play today will be how you will be remembered. Take this opportunity and grab glory. Be passionate about Marshall. Be committed to Marshall. May you always be an encourager to others. God bless and we are Marshall!